Thank you for joining me on this beautiful day down here in Naples, Florida. It's been officially six months since we've moved out here. And today in this video, I'm gonna give you guys my review, my take of what the pros and the cons are about living down here in paradise, or is it paradise? Well, I know this time of year, it's really rough for you guys up north where I'm originally from, but down here, as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. About 75, sunny, got the bay right behind me, incredible. So if you guys are thinking about moving, then this video is for you. One thing that I absolutely love about living in Naples this time of year is that the weather is gorgeous. 70 to 90 degrees this time of year, guys. I'm wearing a white t-shirt. Make sure you don't wear any black ones because you'll literally melt and they'll know you're not from Florida. The other thing I wanna to mention to you too is that this time of year, you can even make it out onto the beach. I see people there all the time and the water temperature, you would think it gets cold, but it's actually perfect. In the summer, it is a little bit warm, like bath water, but this time of year, it's really refreshing, perfect. Even on a day like this, 75 degrees, it's a great day to go on the beach. So if you're coming out here, just pack a light sweater, maybe a light jacket for this time of year. Meanwhile, people back home are shoveling themselves out of snow. We're out here just enjoying the sunshine. Another thing that I get asked very commonly too is that if I'm worried about hurricanes, well, absolutely not because I've spoken to a lot of locals from out here and they've told me that they get more than enough notice when a hurricane is coming to town. So that gives them the ability to either take shelter or leave the state entirely. So it's really not a big deal. The one thing I will tell you is that I'd much rather deal with hurricanes than earthquakes out in California or snow this time of year back in Jersey. One of the things you're going to notice if you start living in down here in Florida is that the people who have lived here for decades, or maybe the people who are even born here, they absolutely hate the Northeast transplants and even more so the California people who come here and, and call this their home. And the reason why is because they feel that a lot of these people are going to come and ruin the state with their whatever it is that they don't like about us. They think that the traffic is because of us. They think we're going to change the government here. And rightfully, they have the right to think that this is their home. They were here before us. But I, I'm here to tell you, if you're watching this video and you think we're going to ruin Florida, not everyone is like that. There's a lot of great people that are coming here from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, California, a lot of places where the government there literally sucks. So they're getting away from that government. Some people are wanting to get away from that government and want to get from all that political nonsense or maybe they want to get away from the cold weather and they just want to have a beautiful place to call home so in the comments down below i'm sure you'll see a lot of people hating the fact that i'm making videos about telling people about florida or this or even naples to be exact because they think that we're driving up the price of real estate they think that we're the reason why things here are getting more expensive and they just think that we cause nothing but trouble down here and i'm here to tell you that couldn't be further from the truth i'm sure there's people who have called florida their home their entire life probably cause even more ruckus than we do. I've seen some of you pickup drivers out there trying to run me off the road. I know who you are. If you guys see one of the big pickup trucks with the big wheels, be careful because they will try to run you off the road. Okay guys, so now for my favorite part of the entire segment and that's when we get to try out one of the local restaurants. Today we're down here at Bayfront at Industry Beer and Barbecue and we're gonna obviously try out some of the beers. These are all local breweries, so I'm really excited to give them a go. This first one here is called You Stole My U-Boat. It's a pale lager. Let's go ahead and give it a, that's pretty good. A little citrusy hint. Okay, so this is the Key Weight and Crusher. I think that's that's how you say it, the Key Weight and Crusher. Let's go ahead and try this one. Mm. That's pretty good. It's got a little, that's why they call it the, the creamy ale. It's got a little creamy taste. Now we've got the orange and blossom pilsner. This one's a little bit, got a little bit more of a bittery taste, orangey hint. Now for the last one, we're gonna try the old Naples blonde. It's just like I like them, old and blonde. Yeah, that one's, that one's nice. That one is very light. All right, so if I gotta pick my favorite, I'd probably say it's the first one, who stole my U-boats? Just the right balance. And it's got a, like a little bittery taste to it. I like that one. And that one is a pale lager, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a pale lager. So you guys can do the same. When you come down here, you can order a flight, get any of four beers that you want. They have a wide variety. I think there's like over 100 beers here on tap. So go ahead and come down here, guys. Try this place out. And don't forget to try the barbecue too, which we're gonna do in just a second. All right, so now for the moment of truth, we're gonna go ahead and dig in. We've ordered the barbecue chicken nachos. Let's go ahead and give these things a try. And that's really good, guys. This would be good for like a party of like three or four people. 
because this is a lot of food. So next we've ordered the pork belly, which is one of my favorites. And we got some corn muffins, we've got some coleslaw, we got some toast, and we got a side salad to keep it healthy. Look at that, guys. That looks good. We got some butter to dip it in. And some sauce. Mmm. That's good. You gotta try this, guys. This is really good. This tastes like it just melts in your mouth. Wow. I've never had barbecue pork belly before. I think this is probably the only way I'll ever want to eat it again. Let's try the corn muffin. I'm a big fan of the corn muffins. We got like a little honey on top. Oh, that's good. That is good. So far, so good, guys. Everything here at Industry Beer and Barbecue seems to be on point. I will be coming back here and trying out the rest of the 96 beers and the rest of the barbecue options they have on the plate. They've got brisket, they've got the pork belly, they've got just about everything you could think of when it comes to barbecue. So check this place out right down here in Naples on the Bayfront. Now we're off to do one of my favorite things in this whole world. I love fishing, especially when I get a chance to take my dad with me. He likes fishing as well. We go out there, have a blast, but I will tell you this much, whatever I'm catching, I'm not eating. That's for my dad. I do enjoy it though, and I'm pretty good at it. I think I ended up catching a ton of fish that day. I promise, guys, it was this big. So you try to push the spin down? Yeah, it's not going. <laughs> That's his trigger right there. Oh, wow. That's how you push them off. That's really cool. Yeah. There you go. Not only do we have a blast catching these humongous groupers, but we also meet a lot of people. And that's half the fun when you're out here, guys. It's just rubbing elbows with the locals, meeting people that are on vacation, and also just having fun. And just relaxing and spending time with the people you love. As soon as you get back, though, you can't help but miss all of the pelicans who are just dying for you to feed them. Don't turn your back because these guys will snatch up your lunch. So one of the things that I was incredibly wrong about is that Naples had no nightlife. It took me a while, but one of the viewers on one of my previous videos told me that there's a place called Mercado. All right, so here we are, Mercado. I'm gonna do my best, guys, to stay out late. I usually don't do this. It's been a couple years since I stayed out past my bedtime, but I'm gonna do this for you. As you can see, this place is jumping. There's no parking spots anywhere. And speaking of parking spots, the cars out here, guys, just incredible. I mean, you've got Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Bentleys and Mercedes, like they're just regular cars. You also have these crazy cars that are just souped up. But if you wanna come out here and just grab a bite to eat with your family, and we'll catch a movie, and hang out with the kids, well, you can do that too. They have something to do for just about everyone. Even if you want to hang with the boys or your girls and just have a bachelorette party or just have a great time, come out here, have a great dinner, dance, have a blast, and hopefully not regret what you did the night before. While I was out here, I got to see there were a lot of different places for different people. There were bars, restaurants, nightclubs, just about everything you could go for. The great thing is this place is not going to shut down to 2 o'clock. They've even got speakers outdoors in case you want to take the party outside. They've got wipies everywhere just to keep you safe and clean. This place has literally thought about everything. So far, I give this place a 10 out of 10. Okay, so I know one of the burning questions that you probably have on your mind is the following. Are there things to do in Florida, especially the Naples area, outside of just going to the beach? Well, I'm gonna tell you this, absolutely. After living here for six months, I keep discovering new things to do all the time. But instead of telling you about it, let me go ahead and show you. Well, obviously, you know if you're gonna live in Florida, you gotta keep your body in good shape. So there are gyms open everywhere and it's not mandatory to wear a mask. And you just go in here and just meet new people and come to find out most people are from back at home in Jersey and New York. The kids also have a ton of activities that they can get themselves into. My girls are currently doing gymnastics and they love it every time that the carnival comes into town. Recently, we even got the chance to go jet skiing and we had an absolute blast. We saw dolphins, we saw this dog hanging out on the edge of the boat just looking for some fish, and I even got a chance to take my niece and her son out. It was such a good time. If you're not brave enough to go on the jet skis, don't worry, you can catch manatees right from the shoreline. If you just want to jump in the pool, there is a lot of community pools that you don't have to spend any money on and you can have a blast. These facilities are at no charge for the locals, and I'll tell you right now, there is a lot of great staff and it's super clean. You can even go to the butterfly gardens or check out some of the local wildlife and the flamingos for those of you who are big fans of those birds. 
You can either go shopping, just don't get yourself in trouble and max out those cards, or you can even just meet a friend for a cup of coffee. And if you're a golfer, you gotta look out for more than just the sand traps. If you wanna do something that's a little different, well check out Celebration Park, where they have all of these food trucks with just about every type of food that you could think of. And once you've got your belly full and you wanna just hang out and maybe have a drink and watch a game, well they've got this awesome sports bar right at the end. And the best part of it all is that it's right on the water. People here are very friendly and they always like to start a conversation. Naples is also located really close to a lot of great cities like Sarasota where you can have a night out or you can go and do some more adventurous stuff like I did. You can even check out Tampa which is also two hours away and just be careful with leaving your car parked next to the chickens. Check out Snowcat Ridge where you can bobsled right down these hills even in the middle of the summertime. You can also stop in and catch a Miami Heat game just two hours away. And who can't forget? Disney. Disney is only two and a half hours away. You can go and just make a day of it or you can spend a whole weekend there. I'm sure you'll find things to do. The kids love it there. So I'm pretty much stuck going there a couple times a year. All right, so we can't be in Florida and talk about Naples without I'm talking about golf. And today I'm golfing with a good friend of mine who just moved down here. If you guys are big fans of golf, well, there's no better place to be in the world than Southern West Florida. Even the people from the East Coast, they travel to the West Coast to play some top notch golf. All right, guys, I'm being 100% transparent. I'm very bad at golf, but I love being out here in the sunshine, getting some fresh air and hanging out with good friends. I told you I wasn't very good. Things that I play with are usually expert golfers and they give me lessons whenever they can. Today I have the honor of playing with Brett Haggerty, who is an awesome golfer, but not only that, he's joining our real estate team. So if you guys are thinking of relocating to the Sarasota area, he's gonna be the man for the job. Okay, so the verdict is in. Am I happy here in Naples? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. For the last six months or so, I've been going all over the coast. I've even gone back to Miami to see if I still possibly would consider living there. I've been to Sarasota, I've been to Tampa, I've been to Fort Myers, even Marco Island. So many different places. But I'll tell you this, there is one unique thing about Naples is that it pretty much has all of the best of the things that you find in each one of those places. And the location for it is perfect for me. I'm two hours from Miami, two hours from Tampa, two hours from Disney, <laughs> just about everything is just where it's center of pretty much everything that I'd want to be. And not only that guys, but there are three other things that I can tell you that are like no other. Number one, the weather. Even though we're in Florida and pretty much people think that the Florida weather is all the same everywhere you go, well, you can drive about an hour or two north and the weather will be cooler. The other thing that I love about being down here, guys, is just the lifestyle. The lifestyle, you can just walk out of your house and just get into something, have a good time without spending any money, and it's great for kids at this time of year, especially in the winter time when the kids are cooped up at home. And number three is the people. The people down here are amazing individuals, and not only that, but also the people who visit here. I get to meet people all the time who are on vacations from different parts of the country and different parts of the world, so it really helps me build my business now into an international brand. Well, speaking of that, if you guys are looking to also move down to Florida, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can go ahead and check out homes in the Southwest Florida section. But if you're looking to maybe buy in the northern part of Florida, well, you're in luck because we have a dynamic team of real estate agents that covers not only Florida, but the entire state and different parts of the world as well. And if you're a real estate agent and you want to make a move down here, well, you're in luck because we are interviewing for more real estate agents. I'd love to talk to you guys, so I'll leave a link for that as well down below. And lastly, if you guys still want to know more about living down here in Florida and living in Naples especially, well, check out one of the videos on the screen right now. I'll see you over there in just a few seconds. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and I will see you next time.